W. Smith, I want to tell you about uh, this issue in Norway where this lightning storm took out, supposedly this lightning storm, it took out um, 328 reindeer, okay? And uh, I was following up on the story about that now and come to find out now all of these reindeers, their heads are missing, all 328 of them, okay? Now I'm going to tell you something. First thing that popped in my mind was when Lex was going into that whole North mythology really deep and he starts bringing out a name. Um, I can't remember the name of the entity, but it was... Um, it was some type of deer, I want to say. I remember it had the head of a deer. I remember that much. But I don't remember if the body was still a deer, but I want to say the body was of a man, and it had the head of a deer, antlers and all. Um, and it rode on the back of a white horse or something to that effect. I remember it had a bow and arrow. It was, you know, it hunted. Um and and I remember that I remember that video because I was uh, just in the middle of listening to a pastor talk about how uh, he, in his research he found that um, the fallen angels' punishment right was to watch their offspring die right and uh, the, the way this pastor was going into it was that what the fallen angels did to combat this was construct hybrids part man part animal whatever all right so when their spirits died and they were able to resurrect themselves and i don't know it was like 700 years or something like that there's these things would enter into the bodies that their parents constructed for them so they could live on you know and uh that was just what, what the, that was just this pastor's point of view is that their physical bodies will die but they can be like reincarnated every so many years, you know. I want to say it was 700, but I know it was longer than that. They, their bodies can become, or their spirits are sent back, and they can be reincarnated, uh, and then live amongst you uh, as as whatever. And I'm wondering if all of this is tying into the whole um, agenda to having uh, that male female animal hybrid that I was telling you about way back when I heard about a journalist from the Ukraine, I'm sorry, the, well, the Ukraine, the UK, and uh, this journalist, you know, he was talking about, you know, over there in England, it, it, it was a discussion that they had, they knew the United States government was in contact with, you know, extraterrestrials and that they've been working on a plan to release a male-female animal hybrid um into the American public, but they said there's a few things that they had to happen for this to be so. Uh, they had to be a, a what was it called? Um, uh, a population reduction. I, I hope I said that right. You know, they, they needed to reduce the population. Um, they needed to change the laws so these things cannot be discriminated against. And if you spoke out against them, technically, what I'm doing now. Um, I'm incriminating myself, you know, that uh, that uh, these laws are meant to have me arrested, you know, because it's uh, hate speech. So, uh, kind of makes you think about Star Wars in a way, and it kind of makes you think about um, the days of Hercules, you know, whatever they were walking amongst you in Star Wars. You think about all those aliens or whatever, you know. Um, but. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep looking into this. I wanted to share it with you because I know it's one of the things that are not being spoke about, along with you know the uh, Native American tribes up in the Dakotas fighting off right now the uh, oil companies. What was it they're trying to put the pipelines in through right now? You know everybody's discussing, you know other things that really don't matter. You know college football and all this stuff. So uh, I just wanted to put this out there. You know give you something to think about. And if you haven't, if you're not thinking about it, or you don't already know about it. Anyways, it's M.W. Smith and I'm out.